The burden of a diminishing grain that remains the country's staple crop. One Agnes Wanjiru bears in her everyday venture, a cereal vendor at Eldoret's wholesale market and who openly expresses her concern over a commodity she says she is getting less of each day. It is a concern we begin to unlock here at Isaac Lagat's granary, exposing us to a scarcity that continues to dominate the one region considered the country's food basket. I used to have at least at this time around 100, 100 bags of maize or even 150. But now I don't have anything, this is the much I have. This is a 12-acre piece of land that ordinarily should be filled with the grain crop. It is, however, a farming expense that now Isaac can ill afford. We farmers, we are suffering because uh, the price of, the price of uh, maize now, papagi, is too low. It cannot cover the, the cost of uh, plowing. We feel bitter because the land is idle. And we don't know what we are going to do at the moment. We have decided to leave the land the way it is for crazy. In the little acreage he has planted this season's crop, Isaac says he continues with the struggle that is maintaining his yield despite such challenges as fertilizer and seeds. Challenges, he says, may greatly affect maize production in the long run. As a farmer, are you, are you disappointed with maize as a produce? What, what is your next cause of action? We are, we are disappointed in the side of maize and uh, we are hoping to change. Maybe we, we are hoping to change for dairy to dairy farming or we change to wheat and we leave maize because of the cost of maize. The cost of maize is too high. We are seeing that uh, this year we shall produce only for consumption, only for, for us. That is now for my own consumption. But commercial, we, don't, we, are, we, are, we cannot make this here. And with a little grain in storage at such government silos being released as relief to parts most affected by the drought that has since been declared a national disaster, concern continues over just how much maize is currently available in the country and how long it will be able to feed the populace. This is Kitale, another of the country's rich agricultural grounds. And at Kita Transporters Go Town Centre, one of the biggest in the area, an all new concern. The process that is taking place behind me is what you typically refer to as the intermediary role of the middlemen. The men here, of course, acting as the link between the farmer and the millers. The situation here over the last two months, according to them, however, a sad one that has not seen them receive a single bag of maize from the local farmers here in Kitale. Ina bidi maindi tutoi isbania, ina kuja hapa na isbania inajua inatoka, ina, inatoka inje. Ina bidi tutume tutoi tuto loi toktok, na kuchunguze ya loi toktok pia inatoka hii. Kama vile tunaelewa kitale, eh, maindi kama iko beya juu sana, ina kuanga 28 eh, mpaka 1300. Lakini mwaka hii eh, maindi imekua shilingi 1400, 1400, 1200. Hiyo ni kumanisha maindi haiko. Such the scarcity whose effect continues to trickle down to market vendors such as Agnes Wairimo. Ilikuja 50, kakuja 60, kakuja 70. Mwezi jana ndio ikaanza kuruka baka 8. Mwezi imefika baka 100. And eventually to a consumer who has to grapple over more than just the basic cost of living. Evelyn Wamboi, Citizen Live at 9.